Hello everybody, welcome to 54 Nights. Terry's out with the grandkids somewhere. Eh, she'll be back. Today is the maiden voyage for the new toad. Yeah, the old wrangler out there. I actually got, got it wired. Come on light, catch up with me. Camera just doesn't catch up with the light very quick. I've said that before. Um, I've got, the to got it wired to be plugged into the motorhome. I've got the brake controller in it. Everything is ready. So today is the maiden voyage. Down to where else but Lake Murray State Park. Um, we're going to take it for a quick test run after I get done with this bad boy. In just a minute, I'll tell you. Um, I got to go put gas in the motorhome. I figure let's just uh, hook everything up and she can follow me in the Subaru when we go down to get gas and make sure everything's functioning. I do plan on putting a camera in the floorboard to watch the brake actuate, make sure I don't see anything odd going on there. But yeah, it's a it's a great day. It's actually it's kind of windy out, but it's nice outside. So good day to head to the lake for the weekend. Anyway, over here. You'll have to forgive me. I don't know how to pronounce it. K funny looking U A T Quat Kuat. I don't know. Uh, it's a hitch mounted bike rack. If you have it, it, you know, a while back, last summer or last spring, I think. I think it was last spring. Um, our roof mounted rack kind of fell apart. I'll link up here. Um, Yakima, Yakima. I got chewed out for not pronouncing it right. And honestly, I don't care. <laughs> um, the, the Yakima rack fell apart on us. And so two things we resolved out of that little, that little uh, fun excursion. No more Yakima products because they don't back them up. If you look into the warranty, they've got a bunch of loopholes in there to make sure that they don't have to back up their product. And it fell apart. I, yeah, I don't like that. So we looked at tool racks and we looked at these Kuat racks. And we liked the Kuat rack, the hitch mounted rack. You know, um, but the one we looked at a few months ago, I don't think it had locks on it. So we went last night after I finished up with the Jeep, went up to REI, our favorite money dropping store. I, you know, <laughs> here lately, if you take us to a four by four shop or an outdoor store, yeah, we walk out much lighter. Um, but we went up to REI <clears throat> and I was looking at the tools and then I looked at this one and this one would just it seemed more robust. It, it had a lot more metal on it, a lot less plastic. And it just, you know, the thing's going to be out in the sun a lot. It's going to spend a lot of its life out in the sunlight. And plastic does just doesn't do good in sunlight. So, um, and then the salesman pointed out that this thing has locks built into it. These cable locks. So there we go, problem solved. And it has a post that mounts on it. So if I need to change a flat or work on the chain or the sprockets or whatever on the mountain bikes while we're out and about, put that post in there and the bike mounts to it. Awesome. I mean, that alone is just worth the price of admission as far as I'm concerned, not having to get down on my knees to mess with the bike. But anyway, I'm gonna get this put together. We're gonna take the take the uh, new toad for a test run and at some point today we're going to the lake it's gonna be a great weekend we'll drag you along you know we like to have you guys along with us we'll go ahead and bring you along just hop in back cook up some popcorn in the microwave i'll even fire up the generator for you all right she's hooked up
that rise between the motor home and the Jeep looks a little exaggerated. I actually measured it as two inches, so I believe it has to be within three. I'm gonna double check, but um, we're good here. The only thing I'm concerned about is the bikes. It's a little windy out there, but um, I think maybe you saw the bikes kind of, they don't block the brake lights and the tail lights. They do obscure them a bit, so I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm going to find out the hard way because, I mean, I've got that thing. It's on an extension to clear the spare tire. <laughs> I could raise it up, but then it's going to push that bike rack another, I don't know foot out away from the jeep i mean my gosh it's already a long enough rig as it is but yeah i guess i i don't i don't think it will be a problem those those bikes where they're at but i mean you never know it's <laughs> but we're going to take a full ride down to the gas station She's going to follow me in the Subaru. We'll see how, make sure everything is functioning the way it should. Okay, the camera didn't like where it was at, so it didn't look like it moved a whole lot, and I didn't feel it back there. But then again, you don't want to feel it um, tugging on you when you come to a stop, then it's being too sensitive. Uh, I do think I need to adjust the sensitivity up just a little bit, and we'll see how that works out on the way down to the lake. I don't know how many times we've been out here to Lake Murray, but it is awesome how it surprises us sometimes with the views we get. We have never stayed in this campsite here, and this is just an amazing site. Site 19 and Buzzard's Roost Campground at Lake Murray. It's amazing. I love it. Okay, the Jeep pulled fine all the way down here. Uh, I was a little concerned with... You know, it's a modified Jeep, so it's lifted. It's a little bit wider. I was a little concerned with how it would track. It did fine. Um, it really did. You know, Terry did point out that that bike rack does kind of interfere with the license plate. So I may have to do something about that before we really hit the road. But we're down here at Lake Murray, like I showed you earlier. It's just an awesome view. I mean, that's just, it's amazing as many times times as we've been out here and we still find these sites that are just like, wow. Yeah. Especially this time of year because there's no leaves, you can really see it. But we slept really good last night because we yeah. got a new bed. Yeah, we got, we got one of those. The one that came with it is mat, gone. Yeah, we got one of those mattresses in a box. Yeah. Um, it was Serenia brand. Yeah, how thick was it? Uh, eight inches because yeah. we couldn't go thicker because of the slide the yeah, slide in. The slide the mattress goes underneath the cabinets on one side of the bedroom But that mattress that we pulled out of there <laughs> was it Think back to when you were younger. I'm assuming you're not younger. I'm uh, Physically not mentally um, When you had those little why are you assuming they're all old like us? I've seen the metrics for the channel. It actually tells me that they're all old. Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> but if you think back when you were younger and you had those little mats that went on top of those green cots. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what this mattress was like when we pulled it out. It was like we could have just rolled it up like a tortilla to bring it out. It would have been easier to roll it up My like a tortilla. Gosh. <laughs> anyway, one thing before I go. This tree back here, right behind me, this one here, I got a little story to tell you about that tree. It's not quite what you think, but it's almost what you think. I'll let you know later. All right, bear with me a second because this all kind of blends in and, ex and gives you some context. I've had a bad week. I mean, just all week I've been just, I say bad week, it's not really bad, just a busy, 
um, eventful week. My boss's grandmother died, which always just brings back not so pleasant memories. Um, and then just everything going on at work, just real busy trying to get stuff done, constantly moving. Then I get home and I'm working on stuff. And you get called back into work. Get called back into work to do something, come back home, try to get the Jeep ready to be towed and get all that. And then we leave on Friday, um, first trip with the new towed and it's, uh, stressful is probably too strong of a word for me because I am easy going I, I am um, but you know there there was some concern towing this Jeep for the first time especially being that I did everything to get the Jeep ready to be towed it, everything's on me um, I can't call the company and say hey you wrecked my Jeep no no I just motorcycle Wait. motorcycle boom 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 Motorcycle, motorcycle, vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> you could call somebody and tell them they wrecked your Jeep. But they'd... Yeah, I'd have to use your phone, though. <laughs> um, and then we get to the campground. Now, Buzzard's Roost, where we're, the loop we're staying in, has some tight turning roads, a lot of trees overhanging, and it all, it, it never fails. I think every time we've camped in Buzzard's Roost, when we pulled in to get backed into the campsite, there's somebody waiting on us. Even though there's nobody else on the road when we're going out Yeah. There. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it doesn't matter the time of day or night. Yeah, somebody weird. is waiting for us to get our trailer backed in or the mobile mo motorhome backed in. Somebody's on I-35 acting a spotter oh, yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah. <laughs> Here they come. And, that that in itself you guys have been there you you've tried to back your trailer in that you backed in 50 trillion times before in one shot and then you got an audience watching you and all of a sudden you can't get the trailer backed in you know it it, it just becomes stressful and here's here's the thing you know when i pull up and we've got to unhook the jeep and then we got to back the motor home got to get the jeep out of the way and there's somebody waiting on us and i get in a hurry and anytime you get in a hurry as a camper and you guys know this when you get in a hurry setting up or breaking down you don't do something right and if it was a normal situation nobody waiting on us we would have got on the phones we would have called one of us would have called the other and we would have been in constant communication while on the phone while one of them is you know while terry's guiding me in she's doing it over the phone as well as visual aids none of that happened because we got in a rush because somebody was waiting on us and i didn't hit the tree but i came darn near close to it and it could have made a bad week worse <laughs> real quick and I just I bring all this up just as a reminder to myself and hopefully a reminder to you guys we're campers we are going to the lake to relax and just enjoy some time off we all are everybody in that loop you know that, that stay in there is a camper so there's got to be some patience involved here and you have to assume that the person waiting on you has got no place to be and we don't assume that but, we... well no we don't we want to get out of their way mm -hmm. but you just need to you need to slow down and not get not get taken out of your game not you we all of us yeah just slow down do everything like you do it all the time because otherwise you might actually hit that tree <laughs> and, maybe, and maybe we should have just given them a sheepish grin and waved like we're, we're, we're working on it <laughs> yeah and, and on the on the other hand if you're that person waiting on campers to get backed into their site to get situated yeah i you know i don't know exactly how you do this but try not to look impatient try not to and if you are impatient just take a step back think about it for a minute that could be you trying to back into the site you know it's we're all out here just to enjoy 
my gosh I mean look at this we're, we're in the state of confusion today because it felt like the temperature dropped 10 degrees and we got rained on like 10 minutes ago and now we're back into this I'm wondering if we brought sunscreen yeah <laughs> So I guess in all this I have neglected to tell you exactly what we did to the Jeep to make it tow ready. Um, <laughs> a little cameo by the dog. <laughs> nice little dog behind in too. Um, we did record a couple of videos on the installation of this stuff. Unfortunately we're not real talented when it comes to recording installation videos so it's going to take a lot of editing for me to get those um consumption ready <laughs> you guys consume uh, our videos mm. they are uh, <laughs> hi dog um <laughs> it's going to take a little bit because it was windy on some days uh, the mic that we had on the camera at the time was uh beginning to head south for the winter wasn't doing so hot, so I'm going to have to be doing some voiceovers on it. So I don't know if those videos are going to be coming out before this one or after this one. I just don't know. But anyway, what we did with the Toad was, or with the Jeep, was I installed the Mopar um, wiring harness. It's a factory wiring harness for hooking up to the motorhome. Uh, that was took a little bit of time but it was pretty straightforward installation it just took time um, it, there is a proprietary connection so I don't get the standard umbilical cord unfortunately I do plan on remedying that so, at some point in the future uh, the second thing we did was we put the um, stay and play duo brake controller in it's sold by uh, Demco it used to be like SMI or something like that, but um, Demco bought them out a couple of years ago. It's awesome for our last toad. Yeah. So hey, don't don't. That, fix that, that not that's broken. exactly it. It's a high dollar brake controller, but like she said, it worked great on the Subaru. Um, I could have taken it out of the Subaru and put it in the Jeep, but then I kind of like the flexibility of you know the Jeep or the Subaru just you know depending on the trip if we're gonna have a lot of family with us it's better to take the Subaru um, because you know we yanked the back seat out of the Jeep because that's what we're supposed to do <laughs> was this in a manual <laughs> it is <laughs> and uh, as far as the connection the physical connection hey it is in a manual I didn't think about the stick shift <laughs> there you go um, the physical connection between the motorhome and the Jeep uh, I did not install a base plate like what we have on the Subaru or like what most people have on their toads. Uh, they have a base plate that mounts to the frame of the vehicle. Um, if I had installed a base plate on this Jeep, I wouldn't have been able to install the winch. And since our Jeep is going to be used off-road, I, I, I really wanted that winch. So instead, I've got the adapters for the tow bar to attach to the D-ring brackets on the front of the bumper. Uh, the bumper is secured to the frame, not just, I mean, there, there's two mounting points for a standard bumper, just flat pieces of metal with four bolts. So altogether eight bolts on either side of the vehicle. But this bumper has brackets that tie into the frame rails themselves. So that makes it stout enough to be able to toe in that situation so um, that's what we did <clears throat> and it worked it, it, it really it worked great uh, I do have one small issue with it right now and I believe I know what the problem is um, the running lights do not work the brake lights the signal lights you think you figured it out well I from what I understand there needs to be a 12 volt line from the coach to the umbilical cord and I'm not sure that we have that on this camper because we had those issues with the battery draining on the Subaru so I'm gonna dig into that and probably have to buy me 50 foot of wire just to run a 12 volt back to the you can buy a new camper could do that <laughs> anyway we just finished up our uh, weekend here at Lake Murray buzzards roost 
at Lake Murray State Park. Um, it's been great. We love this site. We will be posting a review of the campground. We've stayed here at this loop multiple times. We actually got out on the mountain bikes yesterday, which was awesome. I love riding the mountain bikes and it's been it's been a been a bit since we were able to get out on it. So especially this loop, the the mountain or the 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 bike trails. The bike trails yeah. of this of this camp loop. Yeah. yeah, it's nice. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna pack up, hit the road. Thanks for watching, folks. Hit that like button if you like this. And don't forget, if you're not subscribed to the channel, just Why go not? ahead and subscribe to it. <laughs> we'll catch you all down the trail. Bye-bye.